Hey folks, Ashel, ThingsIndustry.com, and I just wanted to review the, uh, the Suturing Tech little couple tips that I was taught by an old surgeon a number of years ago. And as well, I wanted to do it in uh, silk so you can see it. So this is, we're going to be using 40 silk with a C3 cutting needle, 13 millimeters. So I'm using a pig's ear, which is a little uh, cleaner to video uh, for this technique. And I've made my incision. You can see two interrupted sutures. So I have my needle on my Hagar forceps. Use my Adson pickups just to grab the tissue. I'm gonna go approximately two to three millimeters away from the incision. And then same on the uh, other end. Come through. This, I mean, it's standard. However, where this, one of the things that we wanted to show was typically in the oral, intraoral cavity, we leave ourselves a huge long tail and we're having problems trying to find it and it's all over the place. One of the things you can do is if you're, if you, you know, it's stuck to say the tongue or the cheek, get your suck, get your dental assistant to pick it up with the suction, just hold it like that so you can grasp it. So she, he or she will pick it up with the suction, which will then hold it. An old, uh, a vintage dental assistant showed me that tip, tip when I was in Belgium. So this other one was to leave a bit of, um, a bit of tail I'm going to go with two throws forward, grab it almost right at the end, click on my needle drivers or Hagar forceps, bring the tail into where the incision is, and then bring that over, tie it, and now I have a nice short tail. So the key, the second key that he, the oral surgeon showed me is to try to not disturb this knot as much as possible, which is fairly tough in the intraoral cavity, in the oral cavity. So I'm gonna try to do two throws reverse or backwards, and again, pull that over, and you see how I try not to disturb that, the initial knot, part of the knot. Tighten that, and then my last throw forward, and that's that. And then if you don't have an assistant, perhaps, you can grab both, with uh, one hand and then snip on the other. Of course, some of the other details are to ensure that the knot is not directly over the incision. There are lots of other little tricks and things that people uh, have mentioned throughout the years. One of the other things I was also taught was if you know you're going to be making another doing some more suturing, so you've extracted one third molar, you're going to extract another, put the needle in to the forceps, to the way that you're going to be using. Just get it prepped for the next, uh, your next uh, suturing. And the other thing is to, one of the, mine of my dental assistants here actually takes this and puts the whole forcep right into some saline along with the other instruments. And what that does is as some hemorrhage accumulates onto the, the Hagar forceps, it really slows down and uh, the suture from, it starts to stick to the metal and the hemorrhage. So that way we keep it nice and clean. So just a couple tips, I hope that helps. Cheers.